Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Super ECW Champion, better known as Master of Pain on the other YouTube channel. And just real quick, I want to send out a quick apology to everybody. We haven't been able to wrestle due to the COVID, due to, you know, wildfires and everything, sending a whole lot of smoke. We really are trying to do what we can to put some matches on. Um, maybe even some behind the scenes looks, but it's still kind of in the idea stage right now, so... Um, again, terribly sorry guys, hopefully we'll be able to get some up here soon. But, uh, today I figured I, I would do something a little different, something not typically like me. Um, and that's tell you guys of a true paranormal experience that happened to me and my wife not too long ago. Well, I mean, a while ago, I guess. Um, this was during the first shutdown in my in my state for privacy reasons. I don't really, well, I mean, heck, I won't even go that far. I just won't say where I'm at, but the uh, airport USO where I live is incredibly haunted. Just... I guess it's just best to start from the beginning, you know. It, you know, just like everybody else, we're we're struggling through this pandemic. Her grandma, who is the manager over at the USO office, offered her, you know, hey, do you want to go in there once or twice a week? Go in, clean up, make a little bit extra money. And I told her uh, she would be foolish if she did not take the offer. So she took the offer, and we went up there. And this was, I believe, on a Saturday. And we go over, you know, she starts her cleaning and everything. I take the kids over to the little play area that they got, try to get the TV working. I don't think I ever got it fully working. And she comes, like, almost jogging back into the room. And, guys, I love my wife to death, but unless if she's intense... She is intensely focused in her workout, or she's running for her life or something. She just, she, she's not the running type. She is the kind that'll just, seriously, is that the best you got with the threats? You know, she, she's an incredibly tough woman. And she is almost shaking with fear. She doesn't do that either. And she tells me as she was dusting off the medals and everything, she kind of had this feeling like she was being watched and it wasn't in a good way and then as she went into the back to grab something another cleaning product she had to pass through this little area and as she walked through it she just noticed that it was cold and this was in the middle of the summer guys so it was about uh, like 75 80 that day about 70 65 70 degrees in the USO with the AC on but it was still pretty warm inside and there was just this one cold spot and she's telling me she's just she's creeped out she doesn't want to be there I've had experiences in the paranormal but it, I, it hadn't happened for a long time so I was kind of laughing it off you know oh you're crazy and everything you're just it's just the fact that there's nobody else here. And we go and we start walking toward the exit. Keep in mind, guys, she did not tell me where the spot was, where it was cold. I'm walking and I hit this cold spot. I didn't realize it at the time. And the next thing I felt, you guys, I swear to God, it felt like two hands on my shoulders just pushed against me, forced me to stop. And the hair on my arms and everything stood up. I had goosebumps. And the last time I felt like I wasn't going to get out of here, there's been two times, one before and one after. And the first time was... When I had a knife pulled on me over at uh, the mall when I was a security guard. 
and somebody quite recently, I won't go into details on that one, but somebody quite recently pulled a, a rifle on me. Um, and those have been the only two times since then I've been scared. And if you watch the wrestling channel, you guys know who I am. I'm incredibly cocky. Uh, maybe cocky is... I'm a bit of a loud mouth. We'll go with that. I'm a bit of a loud mouth. Um, incredibly strong. Been able to take beatings ever since I was a kid. If I can see it, and if I can touch it, I fight it. That's my mentality. And what I felt that day, the, oh my, the feeling that came with it, oh my God, you guys, I just stop, and I felt as if we weren't welcomed. It was just, you have to experience it yourself. You know, and I get a lot of you like, oh, well, you're looking over, you know, you're looking this way, you know, you, you must be lying. Guys, I can't lie. I've never been able to lie. I, I, sm I start to smile the second I start lying. It's how people know. It's how my family knows. It's how my boss knows. It's how my coworkers know. Oh, yeah, you're starting to lie, Will. Well, how, how the hell do you? You're smiling. Dang it. I'm not smiling right now. That that experience was 100% real, you guys. Um, and this is also something that I don't normally do, but if you've had a similar experience, go ahead and comment down below or go ahead and shoot me an email. I'll, sh I'll leave my email down there. And I'll actually try to do one, maybe not in this way. I'll do it with, like, pictures and everything, like how Mr. Nightmare does it. And I'll do some narration and, and everything, and I'll try to make it sound, you know, creepy. Or Let me know if you actually want me to make it sound creepy, or if you just want me to read it normally. So, But yeah, that, that experience was months ago, and I'm, I'm still shaking over it. So, But anyway, this has been your boy, Super ECW Champion, better known as Master Pain. And fist bump, y'all have a good day now. Take care.